The defining difference on any BMW compared to any other car on the market today is a 50-50 weight distribution. Um, every BMW was built for that uh, perfect weight distribution. Some of them are 52-48. Um, in most cases, they're all 50-50, and that means 50% of the weight, unsprung weight over the front wheels, 50% of the unsprung weight over the rear wheels. The way BMW achieves that um, is very simple. Uh, right from the design concept of the car, they move the engine and transmission back towards the back of the car to give it that weight, weight displacement. Now, for one thing, that's a much more expensive proposition, um, but at the end of the day, you'll see that there's a lot of overhang on the front of the car and that the six-cylinder inline engine or the V8 engine is well behind the front axle. Um, what that does is not only gives it a lower center of gravity, but it actually throws a lot of the weight bias towards the back of the vehicle. That is very difficult to do when you've got a rear-wheel drive car in a lot of cases because it means um, you've obviously got to balance the weight between front and back. The big difference is that when you're going around a corner, if you've got a 50-50 weight distribution, you don't get oversteer or understeer, you get perfectly a perfectly balanced vehicle. Um, you throw X-Drive to that 50-50 weight distribution, and you've got one of the best handling cars available in the market today, if not the best. Now, the one advantage to a BMW at the same time is that you'll notice that when you open the car and look at where the driver's seat is, his rear end, he is virtually towards the back end of the car. So his rear end is closer to the back end of the car than it is the front end of the car, and they utilize body weight to help with that 50-50 weight distribution. Again, the unsprung weight is over the center of the vehicle. Things like putting a battery in the back um, are, are important as well because that takes some of the unsprung weight from the front end to put it in the back end. Now, let me get into the passenger seat here and I will show you the difference between what a BMW will do with rear wheel drive to what another car will do with front wheel drive because that's important in this 50-50 weight distribution as well. You'll notice that my body weight is really right over the center of the vehicle so uh, when I'm driving the car handling um, I feel the 50-50 weight distribution right in the center of my body, right from the seat of my pants where you should. Um, the, the one thing about a 50-50 weight distribution going into a corner is that you don't have the tail end come out and you don't have the front end plow because it's 50-50. It balances itself as you're coming through a turn. Now obviously BMW has all sorts of DSC dynamic stability controls and all-wheel drive systems and all sorts of other things, technology, electronics, that help that 50-50 weight distribution in keeping the car absolutely perfectly level and in control around every corner. Uh, having said that, you can compensate a lot electronically, but nothing takes the place of that pure 50-50 weight distribution.